what is going on guys, your boy Sisu here, bringing you guys a Cinema 4D tutorial, and uh, this is actually going to be the basics of light rooms and stuff, so uh, yeah, so I requested this, and I was like, you know, I can show you guys some of the settings you can actually use, and like, uh, different type of ideas of like, how to use the lights and all the different types, so it's going to be a nice, really quick, and really, you know, informable, informable, is that the, really w the word I'm looking for, and uh, yeah, so you guys, you know, have the basics and a good grasp of how to do light rooms. So uh, yeah, you can see here I'm actually rotating around the overhead softbox light. Uh, you probably see this a lot in all the default like uh, light rooms and stuff by famous or known people or whatever. And it's basically like a preset of light. It's just a really good light to use. So if you want to have this, you can actually download in the description below. And uh, yeah, it's so you can have it. And it's going to actually come with the overhead softbox along with the softbox material. And it's actually going to come with, if you actually go to the render settings, it's going to come with the render settings that I use, which is the sharpen filter and the ambient inclusion, which if you don't use ambient inclusion, and you wonder why your renders are like looking all weird and not like oh super amazingly quality and stuff. Use this, and I promise to everything, everything's gonna be perfectly fine with you. You're gonna be like, I feel like my renders are hot. So uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna come with that. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So I actually have the tutorial text already set up. Uh, it's the era, and actually has materials on it already set for us. So uh, there we go. Zoom in a little bit. So uh, right away, when you do your own Lightroom, you want to have a camera. So you obviously know if this is where, like, my, you know, if I place the AI in, this is where it ends up right here, like, right dead smack in the middle. So you want to have a camera here. So if you go to your camera, you can actually drag it all the way down. It's not necessary, but I just do it so, can get, so it's not in the way or whatever. And uh, if you click on the camera, you can see if you click on this little black box, it turns to white. And if you click on the white box, it turns back to black. It's actually two angles. So if you click on the white box right here, as soon as, like, you, uh, you know, you have your, your AI placed in, you want to click on this little thing so it's white. And then so afterwards, you actually click on this and it turns to black. And if you were to rotate around and then, you know, you want to start doing your render, you want to save your angle, uh, you can actually move around, all that stuff, mess around your Lightroom, mess around your render. And then if you click back on the little black box, it turns to white again. And it goes right back to the angle. So if you don't know about cameras, this is your little introduction. It's actually really good to have in your Lightroom. So any other thing, too, it can work around with intros and stuff, too, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, let's get started, boys. Uh, if we click on the little light, we have four different types of lights. We have the standard, uh, regular old light, which is just basically, you know, the light. <laughs> There's not much to say. Well, uh, it's called Omni. I don't know how to say that word or whatever. And then you have the spotlight. You know, it's just basically what it says, the spotlight. And then it has the infinity light, which is I'm not going to work with. Don't even, like, attempt. It's dumb. And then it has the area light, which is basically, like, the softbox, but I, besides, like, the thing in the back. Uh, so if I got rid of the softbox light right now, you can see how kind of just basically a face of light and uh, yeah so like I said I would show you guys like some of the cool things you can do with them so uh, obviously you can start off with the basic you probably see this a bunch let me like lower the opacity on this uh, this intensity on the softbox really quick because I'm gonna be adding more light so you know you don't want to have too much light oh uh, you can have this light like you know sometimes you see the lights on the corner so if I'm gonna put them on the corner here and corner there uh, make sure they're not super far away like they are let me move this up move this up so I'm gonna put them at the corner uh, I'm just showing you guys what I would do or how you would go about it you know how would you like look at it I'm just definitely missing the whole entire text too good job me all right so yeah you see like the light is super like intense right now so lower that obviously you just see the word intensity on the generals uh, whatever light you're using you just lower the intensity uh, same thing with this side it's just too much so yeah you can just mess around with it if you want to actually have like one side brighter than the other you know you just up one side up and then you can also put one in the middle or uh, to face it just to like brighten up a little bit more and then you can also put one like all the way in the bottom I'm just basically showing you what like what you would go through the mind process of what you're like making your own light rooms so this is not like, how to make a light room which is basically ideas for your light room and if I put one on the bottom you can see if I put one on the bottom if you look like in the in the inside if I put the intensity up the intensity like brings out the inside of the uh, the uh, render so obviously everything else got all brightened up so you gotta lower the opacity all over again on some of these stuff so it's basically like a lot of tedious work to make the lighting you know work and uh, so yeah so that's one thing that's the light the regular old uh, default light so if we go to spotlight it's actually cool things you can do with this you know you can actually have the light like uh, either facing on let me put the opacity up and let me put the opacity up on this a little bit there we go so yeah, if I have the opacity up on this, you can see with the spotlight, it just picks a general spot. Uh, like I said, you can actually go to the details, and if you go to outer angle, you can put that up, and it puts the radius of the little spotlight up, and you actually like mess around with it. So if I rotated this, 
and uh, put this on like a really cool like little axis, uh, like so, and just like lower. Let me just mess it around with the camera angle really quick. Um, so if I put it like here, like facing, you see how that? You know, see what I'm trying to say? Like the cool things you can do about it. Obviously, this is only working right now because I have the error text. If I was making my own standard one, I'd probably make it a little more bigger. And uh, so on and so forth. So yeah, you can see how this works. You know, if I put my intensity down, you see it actually does a little, a lot of work. Kind of like more facing on the bottom. It's just basically how you like your lighting. And there's nothing much else to say. That's that's one of the cool things you can do with that. Or you can like put it facing on the bottom or the other side. You're just having, you know, this is basically just I don't know what else to say besides your own personal preference. And uh, the next light you can use, which is the area light. Oh, uh, this is is basically the same thing as the soft box. Uh, I think I said that before. But uh, the soft, the overhead soft box, but just without the thing in the back. And it's just basically like a square of light. It's basically what it is. You can see how this works. Let's see how I pl uh, pass it by. See how this works. So yeah, it's just you know, it's really cool. You can have this like on the corner, or like facing like one side over here. Let me just show you what I mean. Like one side right here. Uh, let's lower the opacity a little bit. See how the light just kind of looks nice that way. It's like it's a little bit darker on this side, a little bit lighter on that side. Obviously, if you don't like that, you don't like it. You can duplicate it and just like put on this side afterwards, and then maybe like make it smaller and move it side. Boom. And then you know just mess around with it. I mean, there's nothing else besides to say. Just mess around. Uh, lower the opacity on this if you like one side brighter than the other. And then uh, so yeah, you can also do something cool. Let me show you guys something. If you click on the light, if you click on array, you can actually plug the light. So if I drag the light inside the array till the arrow's pointing down. Uh, you can see this array of lights. So uh, you know this is actually something you can use. Uh, it's just you know multiple lights in a circle, like a really nice perfect circle. So you don't have to like you know tediously place like oh my god I got to do this right. Uh, you can actually change the number of copies. So obviously the more copies, the more intense it is, and more really dull. Like don't do that. Don't go that far up. Don't even go like past 15 or something. Like a six is like a good number. See how that works. And you actually change the radius too. So if you want to like get all these like all like a uh, Oh, excuse me, angles like uh, you know, in a I don't know, litten up. You can just use the array and then just change the radius to like a little bit more uh, bigger, and then just like lower the opacity, of the uh, the intensity of the light. And then something else you can do if you know if you feel like working around with like putting color in your light, and you actually put color in your light. You have this little color tab right here. You can mess around with the color. And uh, obviously this is really weird and tedious work if you want to really go about this. But I say you know leave it white. But uh, obviously if you want to change it around, you can be different. You know. I don't know, maybe find a new style that has something to do about the lights and stuff. I don't know. I haven't messed around with it that much. But you can see, like, you know, hopefully I gave you, like, the certain ideas and the general, like, like uh, the approach of doing light rooms and stuff. So it's basically, like, your own tedious light room work of, uh, you know, where do you want the light to shade? Where do you want the light to be at? Like, what corners? And, uh, yeah. Render settings is a big deal, by the way, too. So, uh, like I said, I have uh, ambient inclusion, sharpen. You can also put all these other effects if you, like, look up what they do. I know, like, glow is a good one, uh, you know, you can do all this other cool stuff, like object glow, puts a little bit of glow on everything, you know, solely, along with if you put out object uh, glow on your material. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, and, uh, you know, you can go ahead and go make your own Lightroom and know what you're doing and stuff. So, yeah, uh, this is a really cool tutorial, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and do my own little exclusive Lightroom right after this, because I feel like I need to and I want to. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and, uh, you know, you get your your basics in your light rooms and you can like the video comment as you wish and uh, maybe give me uh, any ideas for any tutorials you want to see next time and uh, so switch you out guys